Here's a quick guide on installing IntelliJ IDEA. So the first thing you want to do is go to your start menu and type in system. And this should work for Windows 7, uh, maybe Windows 8, I, I don't know, but uh, Windows 10 for sure. So you want to click on system under control panel. And this is going to bring up a little information window. And here you can see your system type. In my case, I have the 64-bit version of Windows 10, although you may have the 32-bit version, and this is very important to keep track of. So just keep that number in your head, 32 or 64. So then once you know that, you want to cl close this window, and you want to go to this website, which is the uh, Java Development Kit download page, and I'll link this in an on-screen annotation and in the description below the video. Uh, so once you're here, you want to download the latest version of the Java Development Kit. So in this case, it is 8U112. And I've already accepted the license here. Um, what you'll have to do is just check that button, and this will come up, and you're good to go. Um, if you don't do that, it won't let you download it. So, yeah. So then we see that there are two versions of the JDK for Windows, uh, one for Windows x86 and one for Windows X64. So if you have the 64-bit version of Windows, then you want to download this installer right here. If you have the 32-bit version, then you want to use the uh, X86 installer. Bit counterintuitive, I know, but is what it is. So I have 64-bit version, and I'll download the 64-bit installer. Then I'll say I want to save, and then we'll wait for that to download. And once that's downloaded, we want to go ahead and run the installer. And if you don't have admin privileges on your computer, then uh, you'll want to get your uh, local administrator to help you out with this. I'm going to press yes. This appeared behind our browser here. We'll just go ahead and minus that out. Ooh, something else came up. Anyway, so once we have this window here, we want to press next and next again. And then this is just going to install. So we let it do its thing. Then you'll have this dialog window pop up, and we'll go ahead and install to this directory. Just press next. And then once that's done, we can just close the installer window. Now we want to go to the IntelliJ IDEA download page which I will link in the description below and on screen. So you want to click download, and it may already take you here as well, but in any case, we want to download the community version of IntelliJ. So we'll just press download. It'll take us to this website, and you just want to press save. And if you're using another browser, then you'll do kind of the same thing. Uh, except however that browser has you do it. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and run the installer. Again, you'll need admin permissions, so we want to press next. We'll go ahead and install under this directory. And you can create the association with .java files if you want. Um, it'll be especially helpful if you're a student learning, then you'll definitely want that. And we want to press install. Then once it's done installing, we want to go ahead and run IntelliJ. 
then we say we don't have a previous version and we do not want to import settings. Then we can just skip and set defaults. And then once we're here, we want to create a new project. And then under this window, we want to press new and add a JDK. And your JDK will be located under where you installed Java. So that should be under your C drive and program files then Java and then the JDK. Uh, and at the time of recording, that is 1.8.0 underscore 112. So want to click on that, make sure it's highlighted, press OK, and then press Next, and Next again, and then you can name it whatever you want. Uh, not Wolf. Finish. Then we'll just go ahead and close the uh, tip menu. And then we'll go ahead and open up the browser by clicking here, and clicking source. And source file is where you're going to write all of your programs in. And then it will make a new folder called, I believe it's output or something, or just out. And that'll be where the compiled versions of your programs go. So under here, we'll just create a new package. And I'll just call this, uh, Oh yeah, and you can't have a space in the package, so we'll just call it test package. And under our test package, we will create a new Java class. And I'll just call this uh, hello world. All right, here we are. And do your usual main method. Then, oh, let's do our print statement. Ah, oh, man, not the best keyboard. All right, and then with that done, you want to go ahead and press run. And, oh, it's not going to let me run quite yet because it's still indexing and doing a few things. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> let's put that back. What are you doing? Are you back? There we go. And we can just press run and then run hello world. And oh, you might get this too. Um, you can just check both of these. That way, uh, Windows doesn't bother, you know, to scan the packets going in and out or whatever it's doing, because that might slow down your software. And then as we see here, hello world. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.